indicate whatever his direction is, he'll do the call. Uh, we've got the boat off the jig and back over to here. We're going to raise it to the 90 degree mark, rotate it, and then we'll stop because we have to put the centre board in. I'm back at the Classic Boat Association boat shed at Rathmines on Lake Macquarie where a group of enthusiasts come together every Tuesday and Thursday to build and restore wooden boats. And I've been following Steve's build of the Selway Fisher Ptarmigan. Today's the big one, turnover. Steve has previously built an in Inukred design Tammy Nori, which also has a lap straight hull. But he didn't think it was big enough to sleep comfortably aboard. His main objective was to find a design with a large cabin, so he could join us on some dinghy cruising adventures. The Solway Fisher Ptarmigan definitely has that. The design is over 30 years old and has a delightful shear. And if you're wondering what a ptarmigan is, it's a game bird that's a bit larger than a partridge. It's found in Scotland, Iceland, Scandinavia and North America. Steve's ptarmigan will be a gaff-rigged yawl with a mizzen, which is popular for cruising boats. And at 17 feet, it's manageable to get on and off a trailer. And if you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit the like button or subscribe to Sailing Cake Louise to see more dinghy cruising and boat building and generally messing about in small boats. The lap straight hull is constructed around a frame that sits on a level bed. The guys have already moved it off the bed and rotated it, and I believe a Hartley 16 is the next build that will sit on the bed for the next few months. Once rotated, the frame can be removed and the interiors can be added along with the seats and the bunks. So Steve, the last time we saw you, uh, I don't think you even undercoated. So what have you done since then? I think I just started the undercoating. I had one portion done. Right. And it's just been undercoat, sand, fill, undercoat, sand. It's all an all glass product. <laughs> two coats of undercoat. Yeah. And two, and in South Coast, three coats of top coat. coat. Right. The Trenton's got three coats of epoxy and five coats of low glass micro shield spa much. And it looks amazing, and that's just plywood, but it looks beautiful. And now you've turned the boat over, how many weeks is it to this stage, do you reckon? Well, or months, I should say, probably. End of February, I've the frames. End of February, and where are we now? Yeah, it's August. Yeah, wow. It, it looks absolutely enormous. It is. <laughs> Bigger than I thought it was going to be. It's going to be a very nice spacious cockpit. Yes. And it's, is it a dinghy or is it a ship? <laughs> wow. <laughs> One of the draw cards has four foot six of sitting headroom. Right. Four foot six. Wow. If you enjoy building or restoring wooden boats, come and join in the fun. I'll put the contact details in the description below. Here's a donated heron that's waiting to be restored. And you never know, you might pick up an absolute classic bargain. I'll be back in a couple of months to follow Steve's progress. But until then, thanks for watching Sailing Kate Louise and I'll see you on the water somewhere next time.